Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Okay, so this movie was... I did a double feature with this and Sonic 2, uh, which we'll talk about next. But look, I have not watched... I don't think I have watched, um, you know, many Nick Cage movies. I've only seen Ghost Rider 1 and 2, and I've seen the movie Color Out of Space, which was fantastic. <laughs> I have been meaning to see Mandy, but I haven't seen that. But oh, apart from that, that's really good. yeah, and it's something I would like as well, so I, I'm going to check that one out. But I haven't seen any of the previous movies that he did, so... I have no basis for this legendary Nick Cage, but um, apart from that part, I really liked the movie a lot. I thought the story was pretty well done. The concept itself is pretty interesting, and I, I, I feel like um, there's a special kind of feeling to this movie because of Nick Cage. Um, he was pretty good. I think that he's a pretty good actor um i feel like oh sorry yes rokan yes i've seen kick-ass yes uh kick-ass he was bad guy in that right so um yeah i've seen kick-ass um yeah so i haven't seen any of his other dramatic roles is what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah this movie was pretty fantastic pedro pascal was amazing in this movie he he just stole the show um the story was pretty you know the, the dynamic between these two characters was amazing um and the the way they were trying to make you know a script a movie it felt like that was the movie that we were actually watching so that was also pretty uh interesting to see i loved how that well, that all came out um tiffany haddish and i forget the other guy's name um he's also in here from the after party so th that duo is also you know i, I like seeing both of them again um uh, there's also neil patrick harris but he has a very small role so i didn't i didn't feel like that was you know that was that big but apart from you know that i loved this movie a lot it was funny it was charming it was emotional um the action was pretty good um the ending was solid the actors performances all were good my favorite definitely is pedro his you know his the way he was talking the way he was interacting with nick cage was so awesome to see i i just loved it what do you think we're, 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 <coughs> we're living in the meta yes <laughs> no scream matrix um missing this movie should have come out in really. december <laughs> Yeah, it's very self-aware. Uh, Nick, Nick, Nick Cage, Nick, Nick Cage is just kind of one of those characters that's he's a character, and he's like Bill Murray and you know Jared Leto. They all have stories to them, and they're all have like they have like nearly like a cult like following in a way. And Nick, Nicholas Cage has done all these low budget kind of directed DVDs, directed streaming movies, be interesting and good in a way because his performances are interesting and good and weird. And Mandy is one of those movies. Pig is one of those movies. Oh, uh, I still have Will to watch Pig as well. Willy's Wonderland is a really good one. He, he, I don't think he has any dialogue in the movie, or maybe just one line. And he goes to this, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. He goes to clean out this uh, amusement park, and all the animatronics come to life, and he has to fight them. Ah, that's a weird one. But <laughs> it's good. Uh, but this one was it's look nicholas cage is uh in this it's kind of like a, it's a version of nicholas cage it's not like a biopic yeah. or anything but he's um his person going the way he wants he's like in the roles he wants he was once this great actor and then he gets an offer to go to a birthday party uh pedro pascal's character and he doesn't want to take it then he loses out in a big role his relationship with his daughter is fading so he takes it because he needs the money he goes there and you know he wants to get in and out and do the job but then the FBI come to him and say that Pedro Pascal's character is like a big, um, like a drug <laughs> lord, um, and they want they want they want him to kind of go undercover and there's a bit of me to it as well. They want him to kind of figure it out, and but then he starts kind of gaining a, a friendship with Pedro Pascal's character. And the two characters do stuff together, and the movie is so. <laughs> it's, I don't know if this is a spoiler. Is a spoiler movie, but it's like it's so self aware in the movie. That the movie is they're talking about the movie yeah. that we're seeing 
So that was interesting. And yeah, the action, I wasn't expecting to have like awesome action and stuff. I, like, it, it must have been a highly yeah. budgeted movie because they put a lot of effort into it. And they could have went too meta. They could have had like loads of cameos and stuff, but I'm glad they didn't. They kept it the Nick yeah. Cage universe, you know, all his movies. I actually was kind of hoping yeah, that in one scene at least, you know, Ghost Rider pops up. But if that would probably be, you know, too high budget for this or too weird for this. I don't know. But I was actually expecting that in one of this avatars in one of his visions, he w- who would see that. <laughs> or maybe it also has to do with rights yeah, from Marvel. Cooler, um... Yeah, they probably, you know, they probably wanted to keep it. They could cop- yeah, yeah, they would have had to get yeah. a license and stuff like that. Yeah, it would have been a lot of money. But uh, what I liked was like an imaginary friend version of himself. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Nicky Kid, who's like this um, ego. Uh, like he's this is a version of Nick Cage who like lo- who thinks he's great and I don't know how you would describe he's it. But, like, really like, confident. He sees this this really like Nick Nicky Cage is like he would be able to remind Nicholas Cage that we're actors. We're we, we do real movies. We don't do TV. We don't do, you know, we're actors and stuff like that. And it's like a younger version of, of I like, what did they do there? Was, was it actually him and just shave? You just shaved and stuff like I that? I think so. I think it was uh, a mix of that. I don't think they did deep fake. I think he they just uh, shaved him and de-aged him a little bit. I don't think it's a full, you know, deep fake. Yeah. yeah that, that, was, that was funny. I wish he was in a more way further with it. But yeah, they could have went further with all of it, but they kept it more to the story yeah. based. <laughs> uh, I thought they cool. would do that thing, like you know, every character he ever played popped up in some of the visions. But I, mm. I, I feel like that would probably be too costly because of rights and stuff. Yeah, then you probably go too far into it, like like you get maybe it takes away from yeah. the story too much if you had that every two seconds as well. But like there is lots of nuts with other movies. I think Pedro Pascal has like a museum of Nicolas Cage, movies, yeah. <laughs> which is uh, the guns. Like I've seen a lot. I've seen I've seen Face Off. Have you ever seen Face Off? No, I haven't seen that as well. Oh, that's like one of those. They're talking about making a sequel. Yeah, hope to do. Um, Con Air was actually referencing it as well a lot. But um, I would have liked to see maybe him as Superman, <laughs> but that probably would have been a lot of money too. Hey, that's that's probably gonna happen in another movie that's coming up. I hope so. that'd be cool. But yeah, uh, no, but this, this, I wasn't expecting the movie to be as good as it was and to be. Dude, as, as I actually didn't think was. that would have a story. Yeah. And it did. If you take out Nicolas Cage from this movie, you'd still have a great movie here because of the story. So I, I just loved it. What? They had um, Paddington 2. Yes. Yeah. They were watching. Um, he was asking about, you know, what are your top three movies that you consider cinema? Because, you know, obviously Nick Cage is, a, is an actor. So he he wants to um, he has a daughter. Right. By the way, is that his real daughter? No, he doesn't have a daughter in real life. Oh, OK. Because oh, they looked very similar. So I was thinking uh, yeah. she was no, actually. Yeah, like it's 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 Nick Cage, but it's not like exactly Nick yeah. Cage's real life. So it's, Got it's it. dramatized. So yeah, I, I feel like, you know, that was pretty funny because he's like this, you know, he kept going back to this one old movie that, you know, is black and white and stuff. And he was uh making his daughter watch that, who obviously wasn't interested in that movie because, you know, she's way too young. So <laughs> So she was, you know, there was some differences between um, Nick Cage and his family because of stuff like that. So that was also a pretty good arc to see him, you know, them getting together and compromising and, you know, understanding each other well. So I I loved that as well. But uh, <laughs> he asks, uh, you know, Pedro his top three movies and he lists two movies. And then the third one, he says Paddington 2. And Nick Cage is like, what? Paddington 2, you're jumping from this cinema to this random, you know, bear movie <laughs> for kids. And then he saw the movie yeah. and he started crying. <laughs> Which actually what happens when you watch Paddington 2. Yeah, it was... yeah that, was, that was really good. And um, 
I liked, yeah, like, like the movie, it had a good story to it. It was also grounded in a way as well, because as we said, we, it could have went completely, it went the heavy characters movies, you know, cameos yeah. from Hollywood and stuff like that, but I'm glad it did, yeah. because the story was good. And you're kind of invested in the story, and it's not like it's, it's not an over-the-top comedy either. It's actually yeah. just a really good story. I actually think about, I actually think I'll buy this movie on Blu-ray uh, just to watch it again. You know, I think it's one of those ones I'd actually sit down and watch or go through the um, the extras of it as well, especially if that would yeah. be interesting. Um, I'm curious to see how they did that Nikki Hage thing. Yeah. <laughs> did you see the scene? Which one? There's a there's a late scene where they're like in the pool together, and Pedro Pascal is trying to you know, say a famous line of Nick Cage's and he can't get it right because Oh, I haven't seen that. <laughs> and Nicholas Cage is Yeah, I just seen it on TikTok. Nicholas Cage is trying to teach him how to say it. It's like yeah, and, and that, that's very funny. But so it's during has, that scene where they were in the pool together? Yeah, it's movie? like an extended version of that. Oh it's, cool. It just was cut out. But uh yeah, I think uh, Pedro Pascal did a very, very, he played a very yeah. good character as well. He's obsessed with Nicolas Cage. He loves Nicolas Cage, and like he, I love the part where Nicolas Cage first comes to the island. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, Pedro Pascal's like, he's like, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. He's, he's here and stuff, and like, he's like, because he has, not, he has a movie idea, he's yeah. a screenplay, and he's like, and that screenplay is shit. He, I don't know if he's red or not. I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't. I don't really want to ask him about it. I don't really want, so it's. Uh, yeah, I, I laughed a lot a few times. I thought the the two of them like dead as yeah. well a lot of the time, you know, like and just and it was hilarious. It was just really funny to watch. Yeah. And uh, oh, the other really got me was uh, at the start of the movie. I don't, was that a famous director that was at the start of the movie? Well, look at this case. Oh, he's having, like a, he's having a meeting with a movie director. I think he so. Yeah, that was funny as well. <laughs> and yeah. then he never called. But like he's, yeah, he's he's trying to get this big movie role, and the guy and Nicholas Cage is like, "Do you want me to read for you?" And he's like, "No, no, it's okay. I don't need you to read. You're Nick. You're Nicholas Cage. You don't have to read." And he's like, "Yeah, I do it." And he starts to go on a monologue, and he goes completely over the top of the Cage style, and the director is like, "Oh, wow." <laughs> And then Nicholas Cage like, it's good, isn't it? Nicholas <laughs> Cage is all completely over the top. It was hilarious. Yeah, that was that was really good. Gone? I would I would definitely you know recommend this movie to everyone. Like, go watch it in theaters. It's really funny. It's a very fun time in the movies. The action is pretty good. The performances are good. The story is pretty good. So, yeah, I, I would definitely, you know, recommend you to check it out. And it's very emotional as well. The ending was pretty good. So, um, I feel like, you know, most people will love this movie. Yeah, 